Sail away Sail away Sail away Sail away Part 2. We woke early again to enter the intercoastal and travel through the swampy land from Apalachicola to Port St. Joe. It felt like we were in a different world. Port St. Joe and the St. Joseph Bay were beautiful and we saw our first sea turtle. We look forward to returning here for a few nights stay in our future. Then we were back into the blue waters of the Gulf and traveled up the Emerald Coast toward Destin. The pass at Destin was a challenge, but Dee brought her into the Chattahatchee Bay for anchorage along the National Seashore, along the Fort Walton side of the bay. All right, so we are in Destin, Fort Walton, um, the, heart, the bay behind Destin and Fort Walton. So Fort Walton's over this way. And we're going to be going that way to the intercoastal tomorrow on the Pensacola. And the sun's setting behind that cloud this evening. And Power Cat just entered the bay right over there. So we'll see where they're headed. It's going to do a panoramic. It's beautiful in here tonight. Although I think some rain might be on the way. Derwin's checking out the Power Cat. See what kind it might be. He's saying hello. He had a he had a rough entry into this bay. We're pretty proud of him though. He did a great job. <laughs> Chris is cooking our hot dogs for the night. Yes, the power cat. And then back over here is Destin and the pass we came through in Crab Island. It was a challenging pass. And then this is the National Seashore, which connects Destin and Port Walton. And we're coming back around. And that's our evening. It's beautiful in here tonight. We took a swim, a shower. Now an adult beverage and some hot dogs because we are running low on food and we're glad to be you know we'll be in Pensacola tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. We'll after lunch. We saw the infamous Crab Island preparing for the July 4th holiday. After swimming the bay, hot dogs on the deck, we enjoyed fireworks all around before bed. Yes, we were down to hot dogs because we didn't plan adequately for the length of this trip. So provisions were beginning to run low. The morning of July 4th, we headed up the intercoastal to Pensacola. The day before, we were able to secure a marina slip in downtown Pensacola for the July 4th night. We're happy to know that we will be anchored for the crazy 4th and a bed awaits at Chris and Michelle's Pensacola home. After a smooth ride, we arrived early into Pensacola Bay and were docked before lunch. The afternoon became even better after a shower, sandwich, and a few margaritas. And some much needed downtime after two hard days. We were almost done. That evening we enjoyed watching some fireworks with friends from our boat. Oh, I cannot forget the delicious char-grilled hamburgers provided by Chris and Michelle for dinner before the fireworks. What a perfect July 4th. Our last leg is coming. Dee and I began the last leg of the journey alone. We left Pensacola Bay and headed into the intercoastal to Mobile Bay. The trip was busier than we expected, with the 4th having been on a Wednesday. Lots of boaters, barges, dolphin sightseeing cruises, and just craziness on the water. The radio was active with a missing kayaker and a sinking pontoon. As we got deeper into the intercoastal, everything seemed to settle down and we finally made our way into Mobile Bay. Seven hours later, we arrived to our final destination up the Dog River. Dee and I celebrated our 440 nautical miles over seven days with a celebratory beer and an awesome meal at the Mobile Yacht Club. I highly recommend the grilled tuna BLT. Now to explore a little of the Dog River before heading home. We did it. Sail away. Sail away. Say
sail away, sail away.